Well, howdy soldiers, cold meat 247 with you, a part 7 of this Rome Total War Egyptian campaign. Let's get things going right now. Uh, you know I don't have much to do right now, but, but, what's coming today? The Siege of Damascus, that apparently can last uh, four turn only, because there's a lot of troops in it. So we're gonna siege it and wait for the troops to come out. That should be easy. We have the siege for Apenea at the same time, and we are preparing uh, to boost this army and try to get it to this city here. I don't remember the name of this, alright? So, I will probably need another boat, we're gonna be recruiting maybe another two boats while we get out of here, and well, it's because we cannot cross the river, that river that you see here, we have to actually go here to cross it. So, I'm not gonna cross this river right now, that's not my plan. What I'm, my plan is to do is to take this city, get my ar- uh, well, I'll have my army that probably a part of it will stay here. No, not even. We need to get ready and we need to move other units to take the city. This is what's gonna happen. Uh, I'm gonna be recruiting units here and here, so Sardis and Edicanarsius. We're gonna send them to Epinea and then to free our army, we'll get the army back to the coast here. Or maybe here, and then board it, and then go around with it, and then take this city. So this is what's gonna happen today. Let's skip the turn. Let's skip it. Oh, he's blocking my port. That poor seducid guy doesn't know what to do anymore. I got too much going on. Alright, disembark my army before it gets sunk. Go here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna retrain this boat. And then we will boost this fleet to another two boats. So we're it's nice and safe. We got three boats in there, right? I'm gonna take this part of the army right now. And should I move it up north or keep it here? That is my big question. That's my big question. I think I'm gonna move it up north. Yeah, because we'll be using the three boats to go around and sink this one. And then we can board here and go right for a quick, you know, move. I'm gonna I'm gonna head towards the bridge right now. That is good. I don't have a general in there and I need a general. So this is the general we're gonna be using. Um, the Siege of Apenea, we can end right now and we can get inside. So we're gonna do that. We'll assault it. He's got one, what, two units? Uh, yeah, like, I'm not gonna go fight that, okay? We'll auto-resolve it. Victory! He killed a bunch of my guys, but it's not important. This land is ours. Occupy. We'll get here. Lower taxes right now. Get the, get the taxes to low. And build a temple to... Uh, Aorus. Health bonus. Due to law. I'm gonna do a temple here. We're gonna repair the wall. Retrain our two units. Start recruiting spearmen. Here we go. So that's a big project. That took a lot of my money. But everybody will be happy in this town. That's what I like. Um, so that's done here. We're done with Epinea. We have to wait three turns so we can get out of here. Um, we are gonna siege Damascus right now with this big army. Take that. Settlement, sir. Look, I'm gonna do three rams just to make sure. Settlement okay. Siege, sir. And I'm gonna have another two Mighty. units join this army. And those Orders. will be the skirmishers. Move out. Orders. Move out. And this Move unit completed, lord. Sire. might follow. Might. I'm not sure. I'll join it with this one. Huh? And we'll see what we're gonna do. So, Siege of Damascus started. So far, I'm gonna take my spy, send it this way, to see if he's bringing armies to defend. And it doesn't look like it. I'm gonna move here. Most excellent. That's most excellent. I have 2500 right now. I can get to my construction report first. And we are building farms. This is what we're doing right now. I have enough cash to build another two farms. So I'm gonna double check, see if I cannot build farms a bit on some places. I have my farm here in Petra. I'm looking for I'm looking for communal farming. That's what I'm looking for right now. 
that's done here. There's no land clearance here? Wow. There's not even a trader. Communal. Communal. Communal farming. Here we go. So we're down to 743. Uh, right now, is there a possibility for me to build more watchtowers? I'm low on cash. We'll get an agent here up north. Move in. Excellent. That's what. That's part of my plan. I want my agent. Your obedient He's servant. going this way. At once. Are you really blocking the way? But you can see we have another nation to meet here on this side. To hear is to so I'm gonna make sure that he can pass and go there. And this one, I was sending up north, but I will be sending down south now because I totally forgot the Skippy Eyes, and they're here. On this island. So I totally forgot about them. So we're moving south to meet the Skippy Eyes and then we'll go back up north after that. That is my plan for right now. Um, I am done with the turn because there's no other watchtowers to build or anything. I have a character in Sidon. I can move it to Antioch. Hold on. Almost 6,000. Almost. Oh, 12,000. You're moving to Antioch. You are moving. Army, Mighty this guy general. here, Onward. move it here, and I will be able to maybe put a watchtower in that corner. That This one here is not very really well placed, but that's alright, I'll put one in the corner here. That's my plan, so we're good to go, all the sieges are going on. I have this guy here Order. that I can't forget to move. Forward. No Do another watchtower, watchtower for Build us here. Tower because my armies and my units cannot move in the fog of war if there's fog of war I can't move so I'm gonna keep going here move out. that's my territory so we'll walk in there we're down to 543 and I have a guy in tabs now general. you should be building me a tower right in the middle of this right here move out. Here we go. We can see our land. Out of moves, Lord. We'll lower taxes for now. Till he comes back. I'm just looking at my other cities to make sure we we're not into... Uh, see, there's a, there's a rebel army here. It's not like it's a problem or anything. I don't need those two cities there. I'm, I don't do anything. You notice that. I'm not doing anything with those two since the beginning. Uh, I'm just building. That's all I'm doing. Eventually, I might get an army going here. Go south, take this territory owned by Egypt. I don't own it. What are you talking about? I don't own it. Rebels. It's Libya. It's owned by rebels. We'll go take it. So it's done. And I still need 80 settlements anyway. Um, let's skip the turn for now. And let's see what's going to happen. I can bet that nothing is going to happen. Uh, he's 50 years old. Too old. Too old. You're just, you're just old. Memphis. We'll draw this city. This is starting to cost me a little bit, but that's alright. We'll do... What? Construction report. We'll go to Apinea because we just finished in Apinea. And I'm gonna get the people happy. So I'm thinking about doing the roads right now. Maybe do the mine right away because it's a lot of cash. So I will be doing the mine. Our Nubian spearmen are coming. The population is really low, so with three units we should be okay. So we'll have another two turns to wait here and get my army out. I'm done to 998. Um, there is nothing else I can do really, unless I can build something in Salamis, the Temple of Horus. Mr. Salamis here, this is the wrong temple by the way. That's the wrong temple. I need Imhotep here because I had time to look around at the temples. And Imhotep will give me bonuses for trade. And that that's all. This city is only going to be used for trade, really. Um, so what we're going to do is we will demolish this temple. Get some of our, of our money back. And get Imhotep. So we're busy doing something. And then Memphis, I'm just going the city. So I'm, I'm fine. Alright. So, oh, Gaza. They're not happy. There we go. I don't like seeing blue faces. It's not my thing. 
So we're gonna keep sieging Damascus apparently to return. But I think he's probably gonna get out. See, he's sending an army right now. It's not gonna be here on time. Never. I might as well go see. Palmyra. So, no, we can't get this army here on time. What? And if he can, it's not gonna help anyway. So I'm gonna continue with the siege. Uh, I'm gonna move this army... Where are we moving it? I'm gonna move it here. In my territory. I now have two boats. I'm gonna wait for another boat. That's being recruited right now. We can't build anything here. Oris. A bit of the same problem here we have. Oris is not the right temple to build. So I'm gonna I'm gonna waste a second while they do it. It's just one turn. And then we'll get him on that instead. Get some more cash eventually. On the last level of the temples, if you wanna know what the buildings are doing, some suggested to look at the uh, building browser. So you can do that. You go into the temple section and you can look here. So is this population girl? That's, uh, that's, sorry, that's Osiris, population girl also, but a huge bonus due to happiness. M they make people happy. I don't know what kind of drug they're distributing. Uh, Emotep. Good bonuses, trade, and experience bonus. So, it's, it, in my opinion, it's the best. But there's also a set, if you look here, growth bonus, health bonus. So that might help you on big cities. And Oris is the last one. So happiness, law, and then you get extra for your weapons and armor. So in my opinion, Emotep is the best for what it gives. More cash and experience on troops is really good. So but it's up to you. I would not honestly if you're playing this, go for Emotep set and maybe Oris. I would not build Osiris and not Isis. So unless maybe you want to grow a city really eventually really fast. But remember that when you'll be able to build this temple, the city will already be really big. So there's no point getting a growth bonus. It's at its max right now. It's gonna just cause you more problem, right? So I would definitely go for Imhotep. And Imhotep, Set, and Oris. So this is what we're going to be building in the future in all of our, uh, in all of our cities. Um, that's it for the turn. That is it. Let me, let me skip that. Oh, he's in place to build another tower. Good stuff. Character in Antioch. Moving the diplomat up north. We're near Rome right now. I might block there. I'm gonna have to double check. I just hope I'm not blocked there. Alright. So let me get my diplomat here first. Yeah, he was blocked. Go this way. This way. Keep, keep walking. See, blue line. We're gonna make it. There's a city not far. And you. Can you pass here? Yes! You're going this way. You are going this way. Uh, and you up north. Where are yes, you going? You're going this way. Yes, my liege. Here we go. No so that's all Seleucid. Still. But, right now, we're almost done recruiting. I have my three boats here. Ships ready. So I'm gonna go and do a little mess with this guy here. Aye, my lord. Macedonian Navy. Macedonian Navy. Aye, my lord. Oh, I'm gonna have to go around, no sink moves, it. Sire. This army sire. is gonna move here. I uh, might as well send it in the city to make sure that it doesn't turn rebel on me. That's another thing. Make sure your armies are in two cities or that they have characters with them. Family members. Um, I don't need to recruit or do anything else. No, it's fine here. So let's continue on with our farming and the roads. This is what we're gonna do. And maybe bigger temple if we need them. So a lot of land clearance, communal farming. Um, I'm gonna start in Antioch. So we have land clearance here. 
I'm going to do the roads here. Then we're going to keep moving from another city. Uh, we have land clear. Oh yeah, we have the farms here. Let's do another. Let's do the roads. We have the farms. Let's do the road. We... We could be doing the roads here. Would be good. Moving our troops back is important. We'll do more roads. I have 1700. There's no trader in Edessa. We'll use that. Sarin, a temple of Horus. I don't need a sewer there. There's no trader in Plinus. We'll do that. I can do... Right now I can be building temples. Imhotep. Sure. Here we go. 100 left. Nothing else to do right now. I... I'm not taking Damascus. You you might you might you know be tempted to tell me, well, uh, I take Damascus right now. You're gonna have a great siege. Well, it's out in two turns, you know. So we're just gonna wait. We're just gonna wait. Nothing's gonna happen. So next turn, we take the city, we sit down of Damascus. I'm gonna keep growing my cities. Uh, I always put, you'll notice that, I always put the money right away and put the building in the queue so I don't forget. I don't like forgetting that. Construction report. Epinea, the mines are done. So we'll be doing land clearance and the trader. And then after that we'll see if we need to build another temple. And in Gaza, Governor Palace is done. Um, temple of Set. I'd like to have Imhotep here. This is what I'd like to have. I'll destroy that. Get Imhotep here. That's one turn. And I'll put another building right now because I don't want to have to wait. I will put the roads on. There we go. So that's 1700. We'll go to other cities that are not building anything. We'll do roads here. 593. And there is nothing else to build. Great one. Keep moving my diplomats. I know, they move by themselves. But sometime... It's not under siege. Ah, oh, it's under siege. I'm gonna wait right next to it. I think they will win the siege. So I'll, I'll wait right next to it and we'll get trade. Um, and then we can move here south. Oh yeah! Trade rights. So we're trading with all the Romans. That's really good. And I move up north. Go get a gold because gold's pretty big. And I think I might be moving this way after that. Get into the Spanish Peninsula, and maybe up north. So go around this part. This one that's here is gonna go here and here up north. This one that's here, we're looking to have a talk with Armenia. This is what I'm looking to do. So I'm going to cross the mountains and get somewhere here. That's where the cities are. I'll actually set it up. I can't. Alright. Excellent. So, um, I'm going to skip the turn right now. Just because everything is doing really... W everything's going well right now. We're about to take Damascus. He can't defend it. Look, I have a spy I can show you. Here you go. He can't defend it. It's not with three units here that he's going to do anything. Skip the turn. He is coming out. This is awesome. Let's do this on the battle map. Take Damascus. Look at my general. He's ready. He's ready. I, I'm, 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 every time I think about Egyptian, I think about scarabs. <laughs> so, <laughs> scarabs power. And it's a go. Abandon freaking rams. Abandon rams. Get the hell back. Units, On the run, Units, please. Thank you. So he's supposed to come out. He's supposed to attack. I'm just gonna wait. I have three units of archers. That should be placed a bit better. Get out of the way. You 
can run too. You know, don't be shy, run. I'm gonna advance my line. Get my general at the back. Try to free my uh, chariots. All right, let me do something here. I didn't. I, I'm not moving my skirmishers really all I want. So I'm gonna be skirmishing this side. Yeah. Send everybody there. That's right. You just say run. You're not even running. Now we'll get on the other side with this unit. So he has to come to me. He's attacking. Right now, he is pretty much moving out. So that's good. Yeah, we'll wait till everything is out. He's get his cavalry on the side. And I'm going to show you the power of the freaking chariots again. I'll move the chariots on the side. On the run, please. Now what is he gonna do? I mean, get on the side. He's really gonna set up his whole army in front of mine. That's just not good for him. I'm really thinking about sending my chariots right now and decapitate all the cavalry that he's got right here. That's missile cavalry. Look at that. Before they get in the range, they will be shot by my archers. And then we have the chariots too. Let's not forget about that. They have an excellent, I mean, an excellent range. Here we go. Bye bye, your cavalry. Courage here in this guy. I don't know what he's doing. They can't really advance. They're charging into freaking. They're charging into pikes. That I'm gonna remove guard mode and have on spear walls right now. Everybody's shooting. We're not spending a lot of arrows on doing that. That's one thing I forgot to remove. And let's not forget that we have this force here to flank. And we have to use it. Okay, so th this unit's running. Really intense music for really no reason. Those are just normal phalanx spike men. He's sending in his general in the middle of that. I'm gonna shoot at his general. Watch this. Because I don't care about the bikes, really. <laughs> He's staying there. I'll 
get the pikemen ready. So we have a unit that's engaged here on the side. That's fine. We'll be shooting at those guys. I'm just looking to disturb this unit. I want to make sure it's not going anywhere, you know. See? The javelin's flying in. He just sent his general into pikes. We'll, get the, we'll shoot those skirmishers because I don't want to damage my own troops. Here we go. The Javelin's in his general. Everything's going well. You can't do anything. Look. And my chariots actually stayed on the skirmish. So that's why they're running away right now. It's all fine. It's all part of the plan. Charging bikes again. There's something sick about it. I don't know why he's doing that. Enemy general shows his value. He is filled only by a desire to save his own skin. Well, he's not gonna save it really. You'll see. Moving my chariots at the back, so those units are lost. You can't do anything with those. Here we go. He's gonna have a little bit of a pikeman force running back into town. I'm moving my chariots around that. So he doesn't know where to send that stuff anymore. And they keep shooting, by the way, if you look. They're still shooting, even on the move, even on the run. They're shooting. Awesome. I have to move. I'm sending my generals here right next to, right to the door, because I want to wipe out as many units as possible. I cease fire with my archers a bit late. We're gonna stop those two units. They don't come back. Wipe them out before they get into town. I'm gonna advance my line here. My general will not be getting against pikemen. It's not happening today or tomorrow. Always remind me, like, uh, what's the animal moving the antennas like that? Crabs? Can we finish this freaking guy here? Come on. Please don't leave him alive. What are they doing? Oh, my general out of the way. Move my chariots. <laughs> this is lost. You can't really use it. I'll remove skirmish mode. Get to the point. That's all the loss that he's been getting since he's following my chariots. 
I am rolling away. He's coming he's coming over to charge my other character. I'll save him. I mean this unit of bikemen right now, I mean it's not much. <laughs> they're all getting, they're all dying. I'll get here. Let's get two units out. We get archers. Open fire. <laughs> oh. It's this just this love for freaking archers I that, that I like. Come here. And I think the chariots are pretty the best. And one unit gone, then this unit will be destroyed really quick too. I'll be out of arrows in a second. Clean those up. I don't want to have to fight them later. We've taken the wall. Building capture, the wall. I'm just moving my units out because I don't want to be stuck inside, but uh... I'm gonna need ram, sorry guys. A bit of a waste of time. There's no other way for me to get out of there. And here we go. We wiped out three units. Looks like they have freaking... Looks like they have arrows forever. Crazy. I'm getting shut up. I have to move out. Done with the uh, chariots. I still have my skirmishers that I haven't used much. And you saw me do that before. The walls are taken. The enemy stands ready to take the town. No, they will. Hold on. I can hear my charges. <laughs> we'll just move away with this unit. So it doesn't get shot. And we have minimum. This is this, there's almost nothing left. So I'm just waiting for my skirmishers and my rams. I will be putting fast forward on this guys. They're ramming my own pikes. Get out of the way. I'll bring the archers. Okay, okay, They're, those guys are not running. Sorry, guys. Here we go, run it. Get in position. I saw his general on this side, by the way. I see, I see the banner. He's trying to hide. He's trying to hide, but just trying. Skirmishers and archers. Nope, go away. This is not gonna work. Look, I'm just gonna ram the door if you don't get out of the way. I guess he likes getting hit by javelins and arrows. I 
I'm going for the wall. He's bringing his general in. The enemy general sleeps run. like a frightened child. Now attack and break He's blocked by his own unit. <laughs> there we go. He died because of his own unit. Now we will see the measure of his soldiers' courage. Yeah, if they can just get out the way so I can ram the door. Thank you. Soldiers and the battling ram are at the walls. Now comes the test of their courage. Really? Your soldiers so. and the battling ram are at the gates. Now comes the test of their courage. You ain't getting in, man. I'm busy ramming the door. You can't get in. Oh, he's gonna die. The gate. Get him. <laughs> Alright, we'll end the battle here again. That's it. And no one can argue that I mean, he had no choice to try to protect the city, but he could have maybe stayed within the wall. That would have been a better idea. Victory! We will we occupy Damascus! And I haven't lost anything. He's a good attacker. Where's the star then, if, he, if you are? Oh well, I'll take you. More, more, more guys in my family. So I'll just grow this city here, so I don't forget. That's Petro. My cities are growing really fast because I started with farms, remember? So, um, we're taking a break right here, guys, in this part while I actually build a watchtower. Whee! And we can see around. I'm gonna go around the sea right here. And then build another one probably here. Here we go. So, thank you all for watching me, for watching, you know, because you, you watch, right? And thank you for joining me for part 7. Part 8 will be coming out. We're Monday right now, part 8, coming out on Wednesday. Thank you very much for all your thumbs up and your comments as always. And you know it. You know it. I'm gonna say it again. Have a good one.